Hi friends, in this video, we are going to talk about an interactive whiteboard application which is called OpenBoard. OpenBoard is an open source application that can be used by teachers across a spectrum. It's very easy to use and it is universal and it supports handwriting. You can get OpenBoard by visiting openboard.ch website and by clicking the get OpenBoard now button. OpenBoard supports all major operating systems as you can see here. Select the download file that's matching your operating system and follow the installation instructions to get OpenBoard in your system. OpenBoard gives us various different tools to interact with it. Let's start with the basic tools. If you want to enter a text into the OpenBoard, click on this write text. Let's click on this and then start writing. So I want to just type something here. You can adjust this again to any size that you want. If you want to change the color, just to select on it and change on this color wheel and select any color that you like. So it will be changed to that particular color. Now you can move it anywhere. So this is the text option. Then if you want to draw a line or something like that, then you can draw a line like this. This is the line drawing option. You have a pointer which you can use it to point onto the board, whichever area you want to point that you can point onto the board. Then you have this free annotation tool using which you can write a uh, free writing. This will be very useful when you are using a tablet PC in which you can write with a stylus. There is an eraser option which you can uh, use it for uh, erasing. And, and this is a hand icon which is used to move this uh, area. And there are zoom options using which you can zoom in and uh, zoom out. These are all the basic options which are available over here. If you want if you want to change the background the backgrounds can be changed here like this so these are all the options that it gives you if you want to change it to black color or grids or rulers so let us keep it like this and you can also change the grid size as well here if you want to change the grid size the grid size can also be changed let's keep it to this level you can set it according to your priority levels you can add more pages with the help of this one now there are two pages have been added to this one and you can see here these two pages are available here this is the page number one and this is the page number two you can call it board number one and board number two and open board provides you so many options you can see here now if you want to add an audio to this board just click on this and keep it here now you have an audio option which is available over there now it's playing an audio stop it if you want to insert a video into the board let's click on here and you can attach a video anywhere you can select the videos that are available in your system also now it will start playing you can see here the video has started playing there are various other media types that you can add for example if you want to add a picture just click on the picture and click on here there are other media types are also there like you can add interactives there are plenty of interactives are there in this video i'm not going to explain all the interactives let's take one interactive as an example just take this interactive which is a table you can just add a table here to this and then it's becoming a it's a full-fledged working table which can be used with the uh, school children like this uh, choose option just select this and keep it here so this is a multiple choice question type of a thing so let's go and uh, edit it here so I want just a type of I want to just create a small question. So let's type something. What is the capital of our country? What's the capital of our country? Let's type three answers. So first answer, let's type uh, let's type Chennai. So this is the correct answer that we are going to type. So let's type a correct answer. There'll be a third option. You can also add more options. So let's keep it here with the three. So once you have done here, just click on the display. And now this question is ready. You can keep it here. Now, let's make it bigger. Now select the first answer. It comes in red color. So if you select the second answer, which is the correct answer, it comes in green color. That means you have selected the correct answer. You can again click on the reload 
option so that uh, it reset back to the original state so like this there are a lot of other interactive components are there which you can add to the uh, whiteboard to increase the interactivity in the classroom say for example let's take this one the scale say this is a scale thing you can see here on one side there is 20 kg is there on the other side there is a 5 kg components are there just i'm going to put one by one here here three now when i put the fourth 5 kg it comes to 20 so these if you are a school teacher you can use this type of illustration to convey the concepts in a very powerful way in addition to the interactives there is another category which is called applications these are some of the whiteboard applications say if you are a max teacher you can use a ruler in the in the whiteboard just a ruler is available as you change the size here you can change the size according to your requirement similarly you can take a compass and you can adjust the radius here and if you want to draw a circle you want to draw a circle just go here and draw the circle like this which you can demonstrate in your uh, classroom similarly there is a protractor you can uh, you can take it here you take it here like this and uh, similarly there is a triangle tool which you can use it in addition to this there is a magnifier which you can select it's a magnifier so magnifier is primarily you can uh, move over the areas to zoom that uh, region so and similarly you have something like a calculator here if you want to demonstrate some basic calculation operation just take this calculator so the basic calculator is there now so just uh, use this calculator similarly there are so many other uh, options are also there so you can explore uh, so many other options what are available here so let me explore one or two things so this is the geographical information this is like a world map so if you click on a particular region then it shows what is the capital of each of these things capital city then you can take a clock if you want to display it a clock can be here similarly you have notes suppose you want to put some notes you can just uh, you can just have some notes here you can just type something here similarly you can uh, create a stopwatch suppose you are giving a task for your students for 30 seconds or something like that just set the stopwatch for uh, 30 seconds then start play so the stopwatch starts playing so once it reaches the 30 seconds it will uh, it will give an alarm so that uh, you can notice that uh, the 30 seconds have passed thing is there so if you are teaching uh, the concepts of cell you can just take it here let's close it here so if you click on it goes inside and uh, explain what it is you can click on the i button to understand what it is you can click on each of these things to know what it is another important application is this dictionary you can select a dictionary into the whiteboard then you can search any keyword say i want to search operating system So it brings me the definition of operating system from the free dictionary so by this what you can do is you can try to uh, uh, by this what you can do is you can show the meaning of any of the words with the help of dictionary that is attached to your uh, whiteboard another interesting option is the qr code option where uh, you want to so share some url or something i'm typing a url here and then i'm clicking on this one now what has happened is it has created a url it has created a qr code for that url which you can display in your uh, whiteboard if your students have a smartphone and they can scan this qr code to directly visit that particular uh, page so this can be used to share uh, links to any of the pages so qr code displaying in a whiteboard will be very useful in so many class scenarios click on this web browser icon to launch a web browser now i'm going to go to google from here go to google now let's search something i want to search pondicherry so now you can see here all these tools whatever i listed those tools will work here also that will work in all the websites say for example you want to highlight something like this here it can be used now i, I want to click on this link so let's go to uh, pondicherry wikipedia page so here say i have a collection of images now i want this images so click on this button and select the area of the screen what you want to clip just select this region now then 
here comes a pop-up just click on add to the current page now this will be added to our notebook here by this method you can bring any image or any portion of a website from any website into your whiteboard which will be very useful when you are conducting a session another interesting option that open board provides is to import documents to import a document for example a pdf file just click on the documents icon and click on this import option so now i want to import a document so this pdf let me select this pdf so now what happens is this pdf has three pages and all these three pages are imported here let me select the first page now this has become part of our whiteboard now you can click on this zoom icon to zoom the portions of it now still all the uh, tools whatever i have narrated you so far they can be applied on this pdf also so you can highlight you can use the pointer option you can draw say you can also add some text to it you can add some text to this pdf one of the greatest advantages of open board is that it allows you to embed so many different kinds of resources into your whiteboard whiteboard has an integrated screen recording feature just click on this menu and you can note down here there is something called a podcast you can click on the podcast then here comes the recorder icon you can just click on the recorder icon then whatever you do on the whiteboard will be recorded and that file you can be that file you can export to youtube or uh, some other uh, uh, services so that uh, the the open board itself provides you a screen recording feature as well overall overall open board provides so many features apart from a normal whiteboard application the traditional whiteboard application simply provide options to scribble on the board and uh, and and write some text something like that but open board provides a list of various different options like adding interactives adding applications uh, getting images from some other uh, sources and you can also interact with your desktop and you can also uh, record uh, the screen sessions being a free and open source software i will certainly recommend for you to explore try exploring open board with so many different options which can certainly make your classroom sessions a much better one thank you for watching this video thank you